Hi, I'm Dr. Callie Torres. And in my third year as a resident, I was... Can't hear you! Just talk. I've had a pretty bad year. I was almost killed in a car wreck. Then I nearly lost my wife in an accident that claimed the life of my best friend and the father of my child and some other stuff. She's gonna kill me in the cafeteria at lunch. No, she, she breaks bones for a living, George. She's crazy. I'm an orthopedic surgeon by trade and I work with cartilage. So I've spent a lot of time thinking about what holds us together when things fall apart. There's no finesse to breaking bones. Carpentry. carpentry. That's why you wouldn't hire a carpenter to rewire your house. Eh, it was an easy target. I'd look like the other girls and I'd act like them. She's Izzy. She's a supermodel. I'm George. So what does that make me? I'm a total freak. I'm that girl in the back of the class who eats her hair. Science isn't about making friends. So you and O'Malley, huh? How'd that happen? I don't know. You're a surgeon. How'd that happen? But I am not going to be sleeping with the help. I married the help. Did you feel it was a sudden move? Oh, this is who she is. She gets thrown in a situation. It doesn't daunt her. It inspires her. She just jumps in. Talk to me about the freezing thing. You want to freeze a spinal injury. His heart is likely to stop. What are you going to do, Dr. Torres? I don't know. All right, look at me. You're trying something new. There's nothing wrong with new. It is undiscovered country. You've never traveled there. You don't know its customs and ways. Erica and you, she was your first? Yeah. I was the first guy to land a triple cork in competition. Now it's practically standard. You're the first orthopedic surgeon to grow cartilage out of nothing. The reason we are who we are is because we're not scared of firsts. We'll have all the vascularized bone and skin that we need from the donor. Have you done this before? I haven't. Have you ever done this? It's only been done once before in an adult, but I can modify it for a child. Yeah, I'll be the first. Something feels wrong. You feel this way because you are a parent. To some men, family's everything. And you know these men? I know one. You're in the running for chief resident, too? Why wouldn't I be? A baby is missing. I don't understand. I told Look, Fred I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Your mess. Clean it up. You're not built for this job. You're a surgeon. Anything that keeps you from being a surgeon will hurt you. I think it's a lot of hardware. What the guy needs is a whole new leg. Maybe I can do that. A nerve graft might be better. Well, that would be, be much riskier. You're right, it is. But you would come out of it with full flexibility. A tumor like this would be approached with aggressive chemoradiation. There's got to be something better than that. Taurus thought so too. I've had my share of things to get angry about. Orthos saved me a couple of times. I get to work my crap out. Someone else is healed in the process. And I get paid. I don't want blood, guts. That'll do. Stop sleeping with your coworkers. Everyone's done. Slept with you. And now I no longer sleep with men. I had to learn how to stand up to people like Karev, so I learned to fight. You've been sued. Who's this? She's my lawyer. We'll see you in court. She wanted to lose some weight. I just wanted her to be healthy. She was healthy 20 pounds ago. You just wanted her to be hot. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to repair bone with this little surface there area? There was no way to do the repair. No, there was no easy way. When are you going to forgive me for not being a good enough lesbian for you? Can you do something to convince me that I'm different than George O'Malley? He who is without sin among you, let him cast the first stone. So you admitted to sin. Blessed are those who have been persecuted for righteousness sake. Jesus is my savior, daddy, not you. The censors were an answer to a question I asked. You. It was my answer! Did she knowingly leave a sponge? Yes, and I would do it again. You know, I just got through a malpractice suit. Now I have to deal with your jealous ex-girlfriend trying to ruin my reputation. I swear to God, I can't take any more of this. I'm fine. No, you're not. And I know, because I'm the queen of taking my personal crap out on other people. You're pregnant! Shut up! Good luck. That's the third one this month. They don't push me hard enough. Just fix it. Just get back I in. I just told you I can't! Fix it! I literally cannot do it. Well, you better do something. Do something, Kelly! My hand that? went numb in there. Get him back here I don't want to give and, him false hope. and give him real hope. And we use that part for the cable graft. What else you got? Okay, yeah, we could do an end to side transfer. What else? Um, so I built his bones from scratch. And you, all of you, you were supposed to keep him alive. You grew up privileged, and that privilege made you arrogant. I can do this. Did you promise him you'll try, or did you promise him you'll walk? Arrogant. The surgery new and risky? Yes, it is, but if it works. Oh, it'll work. Yeah, you called us the dream team, and that's exactly what we are. We are miracle workers. My people want the best. They page me. I build arms out of nothing and legs like God. Is that too much? Yes. You want it? The warrior wound. Then great. Stick out your leg, and I will go grab a bone so I less even the score.
You know, I get that people live without legs and it's not the end of the world, but it's the end of my world. You want him to cut off his wife's life? I'll never walk her down the aisle. Not unless we amputate. I think that you're afraid to do this amputation, and I'm afraid that that might be my fault. If we stop her from sailing, she will hate us. So let her. I don't want to hurt people, I want to fix them. Well, this is the only way to fix them. That's the nice thing about ortho. Most of them are easy fixes, but they take strength and power that not a lot of people have.